Okay, welcome to second day of the symposium uh, uh, for the afternoon session. Uh, uh, I am Hussein Yanar. Uh, 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 I spoke uh, some uh, some time ago in the uh, in the in my uh, talk, uh, but now I am a chair here. Uh, we have uh, four participants uh, in this uh, uh, session. I guess Tuba Sarı will join later. Uh, I would like to introduce them to you. First uh, uh, paper uh, will be about urban ergonomy in the context of the healthy cities. Elif Atıcı and Ayşen Celen Öztürk uh, from Eskişehir Osman Gazi University. And the second uh, uh, presentation will be a study of everyday presence of the other through architectural practices from Galata to Azap Kapıt, the transformation of the historical Genoese, uh, Genoese, Genoese walls. Cemil Şaban, Sabaner, uh, Atakan Yolcu, uh, is representing it. Uh, third uh, presentation will be uh, Sao Paulo Palimpsest, uh, sensitizing the eyes of the cultural landscape at risk. Beatrice, Beatrice uh, Bueno, Mirza Pelisiotto, Pelisiotto, will present University of Sao Paulo. Sorry for the pronunciation. And fourth will be, maybe, most probably, maybe, we don't know, a media culture in neighborhoods of Istanbul, the effects of the film setting on their environment. Tuğba Sarı from uh, Bursa Technical University. Okay, uh, uh, we can begin. Uh, uh, to see uh, the presentations and listen to presentations, and then we can enter to discussion part. Please. I am Elif Atıcı. I'm working as a research assistant at Eskişehir Osman Gazi University, Department of Architecture. And at the moment, I am PhD candidate. Let me start with my presentation. Yes, my presentation is about urban ergonomics in the context of health cities. Today, urban spaces are formed in an uncontrolled way with the rapid increase of migration from rural to urban and urbanization. The uncontrolled growth of cities leads to the inability to organize urban space in accordance with needs. And so on, cities that cannot be designed ergonomically by considering difference cause many physical and mental problems for the user. And so on, the aim of this study is to develop a perspective on how architectural and urban spaces can be created according to ergonomic design criteria. The studies of ergonomics in the field of architecture started in the 3000s before century and evolved until today's Corbusier. These studies were supported by the Golden Ratio, the Devan Ratio, and the Fibonacci series. And so on, the concept of ergonomics, especially in architectural examples, in the historical process, temples, amphitheaters, etc. Firstly, in ancient Egypt, there is a ratio that divides the human body into four parts, and the page is about vitreous. Vitreous states that human proportions are the basic principle in building design. It stated that the center of the human body is the navel, and the page is about Alberti. Artists such as Da Vinci and Alberti helped spread the idea of geometric definition of God's power throughout the symbol of a circle. And the page is about Leonardo da Vinci. 
and he examined the proportion of sitting and kneeling human bodies and compared them according to Vitruvius. And so on the pages about Georgia. Georgia explained this with a score where the human body is stretched to fit perfectly. And this page is about Pajoli and Sejoli. They also mentioned seven important ratios in architecture in his work called Libro Pirino. And this page is about Dürer. He has a work called for books on human proportions. And the page is about Da Vinci and Dürer. Their drawings comfort the Vitruvius proportioning system. And the page is about Zizing. Zizing also declares that man must maintain nature. It reverses the human centered normative aesthetic. And the page is about Neufert. Neufert systematically brought together versatile, theoretical, and practical knowledge. And finally, Le Corbusier. The page is about Le Corbusier. Le Corbusier created, created modular by using the golden ratio and the Fibonacci series together. And so on, healthy city. What is the healthy city? The concept of healthy city is a concept that includes many different disciplines and is the city that continues its determination to become a healthier city. And so on, a clean and living environment is also a precursor to a healthy life. Ergonomics. What is the ergonomics? Ergonomics is the science of the job. And it depends on human emotions as well as human anthropometric measurements. For this reason, it is stated that it is also referred to as human engineering. And so on, the goal of ergonomics is to create an environment that, it is, that is compatible with people. And every design product is specific to the design one. For this reason, the design of public spaces depends on the structure of the society in the context of the user. And environmental ergonomics, physiology and sociological factors should offer a practical solution to the problems of how a person will react to an environment. And so on in the society. There are children, young, adult, elderly, and disabled individuals. However, the design made in the city are not sufficient as they are made with healthy and adult individuals in mind. Finally, urban design elements are divided into four in the context of health city and ergonomics. Urban equipment that provides urban comfort and directs the city image to be functional, scientific data should be used in their design. And so on, the first role in the arrangement of urban spaces belongs to the pedestrian, because pedestrian is the common user of all urban areas. And so on, it should not be forgotten that the physically and visually impaired individuals and individuals with different abilities should use urban spaces comfortably and should be included in design. And finally, cross-section really gains importance in city space design as a result of, finally. It is stated that the main goal of ergonomics is to design an environment that is compatible with people. For this reason, it can be said that the, in the context of health studies, urban ergonomics will create design criteria in line with the needs of both of citizens and the city. In the creation of healthy and livable cities, good planning and urban ergonomics criteria should not be forgotten in this planning. In the context of healthy cities created as a result of the study, the urban design criteria are expressed in figure 18. 
That's all. Thank you for listening. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your presentation. And lots of uh, thought provoking uh, uh, questions in the mind. Uh, and now let's go to second presentation, a study of everyday present of the other through architectural practices from Galata to Azapkapu, the transformation of the historical Genovese walls. Cemil Sabaner, Atakan Yolcu, please welcome. I am Atakan Yolcu. We will present a study of everyday presence of the other through architectural practices from Galata to Azapkapu, the transformation of the historical Genovese walls. The cities are systems which are dynamic and constantly in the process of becoming. They grow like a living organism and create new complicated relations. These relations generate different layers of spatial boundaries. Surfaces, spaces, form, etc. associated with architectural practice create the concept of the boundary which will allow the other to occupy the city. In this study, it's claimed that the Galata Genesis walls and its surroundings which have a dominant boundary, go beyond the purpose of design in the historical process, establish relations with subregions of the city, and allow the other to produce daily and special practices. Therefore, it's aimed to examine the transformation of the built environment through the city wall route along the Azapka Galata line and the special dimensions of the daily practices of the other. The concept of boundary is a great importance of, for discipline of architecture in terms of relationship established with the production of a space and its environment. In order for a space to be perceived as a place, boundaries that frame it are needed. The urban organism with its flexible structure that includes different systems makes these transformations and the production of the other concept possible. The relations between different boundaries, such as context, space, and memory, and the process of giving meaning enable the production of a place. The concept of a place is a requirement for the generation of the concept of the other. Because for the user, when a space turns into a place or place becomes a, becomes a contextless space, the other is produced. The wall which creates boundaries in an architectural element where this change of the system can be examined through its existence that is constantly affected by the changes in the subjective and objective position. The features of Galata were formed as a result of important events in the region. The first examples of Genius settlement are in the 12th century. Genius, who were interested in trade and existed as a foreigner in the region at the time, were settled in the Galata region by obtaining some privileges. The Galata walls formed the interface of the Genoese people with the region. The change of social, economic and physical boundaries caused the uh, fortification wall to be transformed and its meaning changed. The walls took their final form in the 15th century during the Genoese period. The remaining parts of the Genoese wall extend from Azapkapu region to the Galata Tower, these walls which drew the city boundary in the past have become part of boundaries produced by different dynamics in the present, but they have, a loss, they have lost their effective status and become blurred. The wall in Tarsana Street play, played a role as the main actor that provided the transition between interior and exterior and organized the transformation around it. Today, it has lost and transformed this role with the changes in its structure. The perceptibility of the structure, which is located under the metro bridge, has decreased due to the rapid flow of daily life. The part of the wall has passage known as a harukkapu, is in position which creates and limits social relations and neighborhood order due to the, its closeness to the settlement and its organized streets. The seal belonging to the Doria family on the wall can be shown as an example of the relationship between the wall and the regional identity. The part of the wall, which is located next to the Yenikapu Metro Halic, um, Halic Metro line, 
today has been damaged, especially during the construction phase of the metro line. These, uh, there are traces of system belonging to another period due to graffiti, signs of the surrounding shops, metro line, etc. In the Yemeni large street area, the city user who produced maritime equipment has been appeared throughout the existence of the wall from the past to the present. This region is a concrete example of relationship established with coastline in maritime trade and shipbuilding. Having an integrated structure is a sign that the wall behaves like a living organism and constantly renews itself by hosting other. The last of the Genoese walls examined within the framework of the study is located in Bereket Sade, the study of San Pietro, built by the Genoese colony in the 16th century establishes a relation with the fortification wall. The wall provides the boundaries of the church and the protection of this land. The change of the genius wall in both physical and cultural context over time has created a process in which the other is produced for the elements in the outside of its system. Although genius wall was built by a minority community that can be defined as the other in the period it was produced. It has turned into the decision vector that transformed its environment through its internal external relations it has established in the region. The genius wall lost its strong structure in the system over time, causing its loss, its status as a main actor, and the structure itself to turn into the other. The relationship of four of the remaining genius walls with their surroundings reveals the process of transformation into the other. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Thank you for everyone. Hello. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, presentation. A lot of questions in the mind again. Now, third one from Sao Paul, Paolo. Let's listen it. Hello all. Uh, São Paulo Palimpsest sensitizing the eyes for cultural landscape at risk uh, talks about São Paulo, a regional capital of South America like, that, like other seeds in the world, has metamorphosed in a short period of time. Unlike others more resilient seats in terms of reuse, São Paulo lacks legibility and imagibility due to the numerous layers of historicity it has amalgamated. Less trained eyes are incapable of unveiling such meticulous juice factually by late 18th and mid 20th centuries, created by a pleiad of architects and artisans, many of whom were African slaves, Portuguese master builders, or immigrants, Germans, Swedes, French, Portuguese, Spanish, and above all, Italians. Clay and wood, stone, bricks, hardware, mortar, glass, tiles and stained glass, reinforced concrete, bronze, copper, alabaster, marble, polychrome, granite, polished or rustic, and hard wood were materials widely used both in Ecletki and Art Deco builds in the Sao Paulo. But they are usually invisible in the schizophrenic urban landscape. Stimulating heritage education studies, we are trying to sensitize the eyes uh, of architectural professionals, undergraduate and graduate students, fostering programs for built heritage conservation. In this way, this communication focuses to experience of heritage education. Lab Sampa, a laboratory and immersive discipline teach in the School of Architecture and Urbanism at Sao Paulo University, 100% done at Historic Center of Sao Paulo, in partnership with the Departamento de Arquitetura de Universidad de Estudi de Firenze, and São Paulo Heritage Caretaking, a proposition in order to integrate conservation measures organized as a university co extension course at the Museum of Sacred Art of São Paulo, 
to train caretakers of the build heritage in Sao Paulo state professionals with broad vision and conservative reference who would act in the preservation of Sao Paulo's built goods. Two teachers, two experience, both mobilize the five senses of students and professionals interested in preserved cultural heritage in Sao Paulo. How to understand the texture of a seat? Its topography, hydrography, geomorphology, vegetation, and tectonic landscape arising from uneven layers of time. How can we try train the eyes to see, the ears to hear, the hands to touch, the nose to smell, and the mouth to enjoy the landscape of the historic center of Sao Paulo? Lab Sampa is a laboratory and immersive didactic experience at Sao Paulo Historic Center. The discipline mixtures the use of 3D laser scanner technology with other methodological strategies to train the eyes and other sense of the students. How to train the eyes and other sense? The gaze and the other sense need to be trained and awakened to develop all their sensory capabilities. The landscape of Sao Paulo is the result of amalgamation of natural and anthropic elements from multiple temporalities. Thinking with the eyes, eyes requires training and above all, the resource of drawing. It is necessary to walk, look and draw to see, hear and imagine sounds, smells and tastes from other times. Wondering and drawing are methodological strategies to sharpen the senses. Diving into the collection of photographs, plans, and old architectural projects is also strategic to sharpen the imagination. Sao Paulo Heritage Caretaking, uh, on the other hand, uh, is an university extension course at the Museum of Sacred Art of Sao Paulo, whose proposition is to integrate conservation measures to train caretakers of the build heritage in Sao Paulo State, professionals with broad vision and conservative reference who would act in the preservation of Sao Paulo's built goods. The guiding concept of heritage care is we must get closer. To conserve, the concept of caretaker asserted we needed to sharpen one sensibility to gist safeguard. The concept motivated us to establish closer contacts with the aesthetic qualities, with the use of construction techniques and historical materials, with the specificities of buildings and their usages in Sao Paulo. This proximity also allowed us to identify and recognize multiple dimensions of testimonies in the historic centers of Sao Paulo to delve into its temporalities and development trajectories. The proposition is to train a heritage janitor. Uh, it was the attention given to the temporal specificities of Sao Paulo that sharpened the structure of the curse, conceived in four models. The time of, uh, uh, the time of type, the time of brick, the time of reinforced concrete, the, time, the, the technical approaches, the general technical guidelines. The quest for conservative alternatives for Sao Paulo's historic center resulted in a book gathering 40 different professionals and institutions in a formative activity committed to the preservation of Sao Paulo's and Sao Paulo's heritage. Thank you for your attention. Merging sensibilities with the commitment to the continuity of conservation this is the challenge of this proposal, revealing the otherness of the cultural heritage of a Latin American tropical metropolis like Sao Paulo in its plurality and genuine wealth.
Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, now, do we have uh, the fourth uh, participant? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Okay, please. Uh, you you have the fourth one, a media culture in the neighborhoods of Istanbul. Please welcome. Uh, welcome, uh, everyone. Uh, Hello, I'm everyone. Here. Welcome this session of Live on Arc, Other Architectures. Today, I, I will talk about media culture and its spaces in the neighborhoods of Istanbul. I'm participating from Bursa Technical University for Kitter of Architecture and Design. Today, we know several quarters in Istanbul are used by film sets, crews as workspace. The main question of the research is how film sets affect residents in the neighborhoods. There are any physical, functional, and social interventions affected the environment of the neighborhood. And uh, as we come the environmental variables, the environment is also of great importance uh, in terms of the foramining, uh, the characteristic of people who are the subject of the film, whether the place is uh, urban or rural, whether he lives alone, whether he's rich or poor, or his uh, social position, where the place itself is integral part of the story, the place becomes a character on its own. Uh, and another point is that the production designer in close contact with the director of the film is responsible for determining the shooting location, making the necessary changes in the location, making and supervising the necessary designs. Transforming the chosen urban space into a set is also a tax scope designer. And uh, the location, the case study of the location uh, focused on the Büyükter neighborhood, which is a fisher village beforehand in Sarıyer in Istanbul. The use of the neighborhood creates some other spaces and architectures articulated to the existing buildings and functions. And the methodology of research, the research methodology is a uh, quasi-experimental research. In this context, a questionnaire is planned uh, directed the main question of study focused on uh, the relation between the neighborhood and the film sets. Most of set designers use some spaces such as the coffee house, some houses, tailor store of the neighborhood during the film production in Sarıyer Büyüktere. Therefore, several interviews were planned with the owners of these spaces which film crew uh, uses. Uh, to evaluate economic effects, question is given below our S the number of people working in film crew, whether the expansion of film crew has increased work potential or not. To evaluate uh, social effects question as given below are asked, uh, how was the life in the neighborhood before the film crew placed there? To evaluate cultural effects, the feelings of the neighborhood residents about the effects of the film crew, the feelings about the ongoing cultural and social values of the neighborhood, to evaluate environmental effects, whether any modification has become in a special continuity of the neighborhood or not. And as we come the results and uh, discussion, uh, many of participants of the survey have agreed that the expenditure of the film career has increased the poor potential of the neighborhood. And uh, however, the neighborhood residents don't have certain argument about the raise of real estate values after renting uh, because the results of survey are in close values. And the social effects, the daily life has become more vital and active than before in the neighborhood because of the density related to traffic of cars, circulation of people. And cultural effects, looking at the survey results, it could be seen that the number of local and foreign tourists who come to see there uh, due to the filming has increased a remarkable amount of ratio. The feelings about the relationships with the film crew had been marked positively in total. Environmental effects, almost all of the participants of the survey have underlined several physical and structural modifications applied to places by the film crew, by the film sets. 
And uh, the considering there are several modification structures on the facade of the stores. All the wooden works on the facade are done later. Tables outside the coffee house are added by the film crew. Uh, according to these, so the owners of the stores, these modifications have made a great contribution to the increase of the work advertisement and number of clients uh, and have created a new image uh, in the neighborhood. And all the wooden works on the facade, some of the decorative elements inside uh, inside a restaurant are placed by the film sets. Uh, in addition, the new signboards uh, have been added later spaces used for filming in accordance with the scenario, the narrative in the film. And another space of the Taylor uh, store. Yes. As conclusion, all the findings prove that the neighborhood has been mainly affected economically. Uh, the film says provide a remarkable economic con contributions to the neighborhood, uh, create a work potential uh, in total. In the neighborhood, people personally prefer the renting their places to advertise, secondly prefer to earn money, thirdly prefer to help the film crew. Uh, both advertisement and earning money are accepted uh, variables. Economical contribution of the film crew has obtained a temporary improvement in the neighborhood because the findings reflect that there isn't a noticeable change relating to real estate values. Modifications uh, which are made by the uh, film sets, changing the interior design, painting the facades of the buildings has contributed to uh, tradesmen in the neighborhood uh, economically uh, because uh, many of our uh, tradesmen emphasizes that the improvements applied to their places have obtained more customers than before. Uh, and uh, there are some signs uh, which reflects uh, some contr uh, contradictions uh, of spaces, rural or urban, uh, east or west, uh, which can be say. Apart from this, the interiors are designed in detail within the framework of the character space relationship. The use of the neighborhoods creates some other spaces and additional architectures are created to existing buildings and functions. There should be a cooperation between the inhabitants and the production crew to know how about the functionality of the neighborhood, their life routines and daily use of the spaces. Thank you for your listening and for your patience. Okay, okay, thank, thank you very much. Also, uh, uh, it's very interesting presentation. All of the uh, presentations are uh, saying something. I, I felt that uh, a kind of a part of the whole, four of them, they are all completing each other's. I have many questions in my mind, but before going through, uh, can you ask some questions to each other, uh, some uh, direct questions? Uh, do you have any any questions for each other's work? Hey, come on. <laughs> we, we maybe better. Uh, OK, OK, please. Uh, I make joke, but it is great opportunity for us to exchange ideas, even in a short time of period. If you have any, please do it. Hmm. Okay, I, I, okay, uh, I can uh, say that uh, just to give a general idea. The first one is uh, like urban ergonomy. Uh, it's a very interesting subject, actually. Uh, uh, what it came to my mind that uh, with a general look, we can say that cities are not ergonomic at all in, in some level, uh, uh, because uh, uh, we are living here, we see the uh, settlements, we see the built environment with the boxes, a lot of boxes, like a human body, around them human bodies are kind of moving like ergonomically, either this way or that way. But we have all the boxes, whatever boxes we have. We don't have ergonomic uh, 
I am not saying that all the buildings has to be ergonomic. For example, what is the ergonomic building? Like Zahadit was doing, for example, Zahadit's projects, or many people, uh, many architects you can find, like soft, soft uh, turnings and so on. Uh, but this this is opening up another uh, another case uh, away from the technical evaluation. Like, uh, uh, what do you think about this? Uh, uh, boxy settlements that we have, uh, how it works, uh, this idea of ergonomy, urban ergonomy, and how, how it makes the city healthy. Can you summarize, uh, dear Elif uh, and Aysan, uh, Aysan Selan, can you say a few words for that? Okay, first of all, thank you for listening to my presentation and asking questions. And Professor Dr. Ayşen Çelen Öztürk left the conference due to her institute work. Um, I'm excited and I, I am apologize for my mistake. And in fact, um, these ratios describe the process of the reflection of the human body in space and ergonomics is also the main factor in the relationship uh, of the human body with space. Uh, this factor is an ine inevitable condition for a health city. For this reason, these rates uh, are the process that should be known in the condition of a being a health city. And uh, people live in society, the health of the society is possible uh, when people um, lead their lives comfortably. Uh, this situation exists thanks to urban ergonomics. And there are a lot of standards for ergonomics. The standards vary according to the city and country of residence uh, because the living condition and culture of the region in which they live affect life materially and sportively. Mm, there are a lot of uh, standards, but problem arises because these are not designed with the people with different characteristics in mind, but there are people with different characters in society, such as children, young people, the elderly and the disabled. So I say that again. However, these are general design using adult and healthy people. Uh, the situation causes the city to not be able to provide ergonomic competence. Uh, so um, uh, that's all I say that. Maybe I can say that your question. Yes. Uh, uh... Okay, uh, thank you for your uh, answer. Uh, okay, you are bringing a concept uh, like ergonomic, uh, urban, urban ergonomy, uh, uh, very interesting uh, uh, subject. You gave some glimpse uh, about it. Uh, and now uh, uh, this is the idea to, to make a sketch and then to make the people to think. In that respect, I like the idea uh, I never concentrated to this ergonomic, urban ergonomy. That's why it's very valuable. The, the second presentation uh, uh, about a wall, about just a wall. Once upon a time, it was very famous and very live and uh, like a movie star maybe, but uh, the movie star got old uh, and uh, finished his career and then maybe he, he or she is in, in a, another stage of life. Now like this wall, but the wall is like a kind of boundary also, as you emphasized. Like I, I remember uh, the Fine Arts Academy of Helsinki with the students, we made uh, work about the boundaries uh, some years ago. And then we came uh, to Istanbul with the students because boundaries are very, amazing uh, uh, in, in Istanbul, many layers, many boundaries, but you symbolized the whole thing with a wall. 
like actually very abstract idea, very abstract idea. There are lots of things are happening in Istanbul in many la layers, but you symbolize it with the wall. Uh, and it, they were minority, minorities established this wall. And the, the, the destiny of the wall uh, was uh, similar like today. Uh, it was min uh, the wall of minority, but now it uh, wall became a kind of other, uh, a kind of very, uh, uh, is, um, a kind of uh, small range of kilometers maybe. Uh, and of course, uh, the, 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 what I can ask to you, uh, 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 what do you think about all these uh, uh, layers of uh, a wall uh, and around the wall? Is it like a kind of archeologic area? Like when you go to archeologic area, you dig and find many layers. But now you are doing it uh, by seeing the, some parts of the wall with the characters of the wall. Is it like kind of archeological investigation in a way or how you, will, how you can define it more and go to further uh, uh, from this wall? Uh, I think uh, yes or no. Uh, because this is not just a wall, not just a wall. Uh, it represents uh, the minority of the group from the past, uh, and also uh, the production of daily life uh, events, potentials, uh, the region actually, the uh, uh, place uh, becoming a place uh, can be uh, seen on the wall uh, from the region uh, as we uh, examine the areas, uh, the four areas, we can see the traces of a uh, production of daily life. Uh, I think uh, my friend Atakan can add something. Uh, yeah. act actually, we think that the city is not, uh, city is like an organism. It has uh, it creates relations always and renew itself. So these walls, uh, the tectonic structure of the wall is uh, one of the most important elements uh, reflecting this transformative power. Uh, the fact that as an uh, object produced over the time, uh, boundary produces identities, purposes of use, methods, permeability, in different ways in different parts of the city proves its rich tectonic structure. Um, and this generous walls shows that I think better. Yeah, yeah. yeah th this means, can we say that uh, uh, the wall is a, a, a beautiful wall uh, in its own way today. It's broken, it's uh, split it, but it's a reality, a part of, you said very nicely, a part, uh, a wall of daily life, like a kind of a part of daily life. We, exactly. have, to ex we have to accept and go further uh, uh, like a jewelry in its own uh, 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 stage, like a human uh, being, I mean, uh, because uh, it's very valuable. Uh, I, okay, it's great. Great stuff. Uh, uh, you gave also, very can, nice example. Sorry. Yeah, uh, please. Also, we can say that uh, the wall uh, is also place, space, uh, like a living organism. It is. Uh, it has some boundaries, which is uh, uh, not here anymore, uh, but we can perceive uh, in daily practices, uh, like uh, streets, uh, street organization uh, or uh, metro line, uh, maybe uh, trade events uh, or the last one, the church uh, has a wall, uh, has also a wall. Uh, we can uh, clearly solve the daily practices of, uh, practices of daily life. 
Great. Uh, this means we have to save this wall, whatever it is, and go further. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, for example, sometimes if you renovate a wall, it's really sterilized, sterilized, and uh, it's losing its identity. Although you think that it's great now, it's a perfect setting now, but it's not. Uh, what you sh you were showing as some uh, uh, you know photographs, it, they were very valuable uh, kind of example of uh, a, an evidence from the past today, from past today. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank if you, you. Thank if you. If you tell more, please, uh, uh, after finishing this maybe first uh, uh, round. And now the third one was Sao Paulo Palimpsest. And you began with the colorful, uh, colorful pictures. Uh, it was very nice. And uh, uh, you said about uh, schizophrenic urban landscape. That was, uh, that was very interesting description. Uh, you spoke about lab samba and but you said also a very important thing that we must get closer the idea uh, before anything we come together and we get closer to each other and that is the biggest project actually uh, more than what we do and i think what i understand that instead of for example to create a, a kind of fantastic uh, uh, breathtaking uh, projects, you say that, hey, we have to get calm and go step by step to make better world. As far as I understand in your, in your uh, beautiful presentation and two teachers and two experiences comes together. And I liked very much when you put the a small pic when some people put the small pictures there and begin to paint that. Uh, one thing that I would like to ask, uh, they walk, they look and they draw and they see and hear and imagine sound or the other things. Do they uh, uh, evaluate themselves, not around only? Do they evaluate as person what they feel how, uh, what they feel, their scared, their anxiety, uh, do they uh, uh, create uh, for their map also? Because you can look this and that and that, physically you can begin to go, but the relation between who is doing it is also important. It is stress, joy, many things. Maybe other way around also important in this area. What do you think about that? Uh, our students uh, in Sao Paulo um, uh, lives in other cities, uh, in other uh, states, uh, in, in our university campus uh, is far away from the historic center. Then when we expose the students to the historic center, it's a, a great experience because most of them don't know the historic center, don't know the layers of historicity there is there, don't know the smells, don't know the gastronomy, the restaurants, the life. And then they discover the lives and, and discover the architecture, discover the plurality of materials, people, and the plurality uh, of a city of a schizophrenic seat, because Sao Paulo, in Sao Paulo there is um, a, a, a 12 million of inhabitants, different parts of the world lives in Sao Paulo. Then it, it's a discover uh, for the students. They draw the smells uh, in a discipline done 100% in, in historic center. In one semester, they discover uh, what is Sao Paulo. Uh, uh, historicity. Uh, yeah. This is the most important um, oh. uh, contribution of the discipline uh, to mm. sensitize 
these two I, I, I understand that. I under, we, underst we understand that. I just wanted to, to ask, they, do they discover their selves? Because they are they also, uh, because they are also extension of a historical life, like from grandfather before and before. They are also historical yes. in some way, because if we cut the rope and say that there is a historical uh, area there, and then you are going and seeing this, but the, the students also, it comes from a tradition. We all a kind of long tradition that we are historical, a, a, a part of a chain. So how they discover their self also? Do they draw, for example, feelings? Like uh, uh, I am very, uh, uh, I mean, in a, another state of mind. I came to historical center, but I do my own feeling here. How they do? Just I want to task. Yes, it's interesting because uh, uh, they discover themselves as part of the uh, construction of the city because their parents, their uh, ancestors, uh, oh. the different parts of the world, immigrants, uh, most of them uh, ex-slaves uh, origin, uh, they discover uh, that their parents uh, made the city. Uh, it's very interesting because in the works in the final graduate course, many of them uh, decided to study the, the, the role of their parents in the uh, building of the city. It's interesting, this relation. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very thought provoking uh, 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 lectures. And the last one, I, you, you don't ask, and then I am asking many things and speaking. Uh, sorry, if you would like to ask, please, uh, we have a couple of minutes, but I will ask the last question to, to Tuba. Uh, now, this like historical center in Sao Paulo, a group of people comes to historical place. In Tuba's case, a group of people with the crew, with the producer, with the uh, very uh, light guy, with the story guy, they come together and actors. They come together, not in a historical center, but they come in a way in a historical center because they are also having their own history. Even they do, they live in another different kinds of settlements. I wanted to ask uh, uh, how environment can affect a film. Okay, you analyze this. Uh, uh, during its preparation uh, 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 process. And how about other way around? How a film directors, for example, like an architect, we design a project like a film, film director, and we go to a site like a film director, and then director has a story and put it to the uh, site. And then how he can evaluate what he has done. I mean that uh, 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 what is the role of uh, the environment which will affect the story of the film, the destiny of the film? Will the director say, no, 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 I have to fix it. I have to change this direction, that direction. What do you think about that? Yeah. Uh, could you hear me? Yes, very well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think uh, the place uh, most of times becomes the integral part of the story and becomes uh, a character of uh, a character on its own. Uh, and uh, but uh, this research uh, looks uh, the mm, the analysis in terms of the uh, in, uh, in terms of the uh, inhabitants uh, of the neighborhood. Uh, but the other uh, perspective, uh, I think uh, it should be uh, more detailed research. I think it needs more detailed research. But uh, there are uh, one more question uh, from uh, Aysun Aydın. Uh, yeah. Maybe I can uh, ask a common answer. Uh, 
she asks the use of the city as a movie scene uh, on the films. Uh, I think I, I'm uh, firstly I thank uh, for these questions and your questions. I think it can be possible. Uh, the use of city as a movie scene uh, can be considered as a conscious or a secret transfer of urban culture. Uh, we can say most of times uh, these movies becomes uh, a transmission to uh, to, to transmit uh, and to present these values of uh, daily activities uh, of the neighborhood and the uh, spatial characteristic uh, and uh, spatial characteristic changing according to uh, space time relationships uh, most of times and the movement uh, in the city I think uh, so uh, as conclusion, we can say that yes, the place becomes the integral part of the narrative, the integral part of the story, but uh, it, the research, I can say, needs uh, the other perspective and needs uh, the other detailed research, uh, as you uh, said. Thank yeah, you. Uh, thank you to you. Uh, uh, but all of you opened up a kind of uh, really nice discussions in our mind. Uh, I was a little scaring how this uh, uh, discussion site uh, will go on because we have three people and then Tuba came later. And uh, I wish we could have more time to discuss uh, uh, many minutes more. Uh, beautiful uh, presentations and beautiful ideas. I hope you will uh, bring it further. And thank you for coming. Uh, and uh, presenting your thing. If you don't have, if you have anything, please ask because we have the last one or two minutes. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, we will finalize. And thanks a lot uh, to uh, Sao Paulo, to every cities you came from Turkey. It was a pleasure to be with you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, okay. everyone. <laughs> Thank you. As, thank you to you. Okay, we finish now.